Welcome to part 2 of learning how to create custom items for beginners. Today, we'll be focusing on how to create triggerable, triggerable effects using right click, learning about effects, and how we can use effects to add a cooldown. So first, let's look at this piece of code. This may look confusing, but if you watch the last episode, you'll notice this is quite similar to what we did for the knockback sword if for last episode. And if you do not know what we did last episode, I highly suggest you to watch that because this is just a more advanced version and I think you should watch the first one. It's to cover like the really basic fundamentals. So what this does is it dashes the player if they right click using apply impulse here. And all player all action essentially checks if the player right clicks and it gets the player ID, the position of the player, the block that is targeted and the target ID. So like if you right click so if I just right click it, I dash forward. So if I right click it again, I can dash forward and dash and dash and dash and dash. And you see if I look up, it will dash me upwards as well. If I look fully up, it will dash me fully upwards. So we put a divide to here because usually the Y impulse is a lot, a lot, a lot more compared to X impulse. Like generally, that's a general thing to know. So yes, we made a dash effect as simple as this. So, but how can you add a cooldown for this? We are going to use effects. So, now let's learn about effects. So, we can apply effects using our code by using the feature api.applyEffect and it gets the player ID who you want to affect, which is called lifetime ID, the effect name, the duration, and custom effect info. So, we can not only apply real block side effect, like our effect name can be, for example, damage, which is just dam damage, which gives our player more damage. But we can also create our own custom effect. So, look at this code. So, I created an effect called Boom for 5000 seconds, and the icon is a Moose Explosive. So I'm going to go grab a code block real quick. So if I paste in my code from here, you see it will apply my ID which is I click and it will give the effect name boom for 5 seconds. Now for the effect duration is in milliseconds, so not in ticks. So um, 1 second is 1000 milliseconds, just like FYI. So you see we can set like some um, custom attributes as we see up here. You see we can do some custom effect info. And custom effect info includes like custom um, display name for the effect but it only works for like your own meta effect so there's no point of using a custom display name. But the main thing we can do is icon where it will like show us the icon of the, of the effect. There's also not only this, there's also inbuilt level which we can make the level of the effect change but yeah. But these are like the things you need to know. You just need to know these two. You have the inbuilt level and icon. But most likely for custom effects, you just need icon. And I'll explain that why about that later. Now knowing how to create an effect, create an effect called Lance Cooldown with the icon of a diamond sword and the effect duration to be 30 seconds. I call it Lance Cooldown because I think like a sword that dashes a lot of lands. That's like F Y I E Z. Okay, like. Um, editor, please don't include this. Alright, so this is how I would do it. So first, I would change this to lands cooldown. And so, I'll change this to 30. And I'll set the icon to diamond sword. And if we click this, we have a, we have a very cool effect timer down there. So, of course, making an effect doesn't mean we have a cooldown. So like, you may be asking, Well, how can you add a, a cooldown? <laughs> well, let me introduce you to API.getEffects. I have a slide on this, wait. Now, what API.getEffects get is you just choose the player that you want to get the effects from. Or entity, it can be a mob also. Mob can take effects, yeah, I didn't know that. And it, it returns a list of effect names. For example, it will return damage, damage reduction, lens cooldown. It even returns custom effects. So, I'll just show you something. So, if I just give myself a potion... Okay, let's... Splash haste potion 2 and a splash poison potion. Oh my days, can you not off? So, if I splash myself with a haste 2 potion and a poison 2 potion, I take this. It will give me the effect names of poison and haste. 
You see how it doesn't give me the level of haste, it just gives me haste. So you need to know that for this thing, um, it doesn't give level of effect, which is sometimes annoying, but it's okay, you know, it's not that bad. But yes, anyways, so because it gets this, that's why I say in giving effects, we don't need to set an inbuilt level for custom effects. If I have these and this, and I just click this, it will even give back the lens cooldown effect, you see? Now, we can use something called dot include. So we can use something to check for an effect. So we can do something to go check for an effect. We can use this feature, we can use this code here, and we can use dot include, which is a thing in JavaScript. So what this does is it returns a boolean value of true or false. So because API.get effects return a list, dot includes check if that if inside their list has the word lands cooldown inside. If it does, it will return true, else it will return false. So if I click this, sorry, I can't spell. So if I click this, it will say false. But if I have my effect on, it will return true. Knowing this logic, we can create a simple, simple, simple cooldown system like this. So after our check item function in here, we can put an end statement and we can check if the api.get effects of the player dot includes lands cool down and we're going to put an exclamation mark in front of it so this checks if the player has the lands cooldown if it has it will trigger this effect which which is not what we want we want it to not trigger if they have the lance cooldown effect. So what I'm doing with this is by essentially saying if you don't have the lance cooldown effect, you can trigger this. So in here, then we will apply our effect. So we can apply the effect again by copying and pasting our previous code. But I'm sure it's not my ID, it is player ID because we're using on player all action now. So if we do this and we right click, it will give us a lance cooldown effect. If we spam right click as much as possible, I'm, I'm literally spamming right click right now. I'm not gonna dab to dash forward. And we can also lower the cooldown by just changing this value to like 5 seconds. And, if, and yeah, um, I'm gonna just milk myself first. So if I right click now, it's a 5 second cooldown. And once this cooldown is over, and I right click again, I can dash again. So yeah, this is how we can make a very simple cooldown system. Now, this system can be easily exploited if you just splash milk. But, um, just ban milk from your server, you know. It's like not that deep. So this whole thing now, it checks if the player has the correct item, checks if they don't have the cooldown, and if it does, it will apply the cooldown, with, and then after that, it will do the effect. So that's the basic fundamentals of how we can add a very simple, very easy cooldown check into Blockstar.io. Thank you for watching this video. And if you need help with coding, I'm always available for you to message on Discord. And we can hop in a call for a one-to-one -one coding session. I don't mind doing it as long as it's like as long as I'm free. My Discord will be in the link below. And if you have any questions, do not be afraid to ask me in the comments directly. I will be very glad to answer every single question, unless it's a stupid question that's not possible. I'm kidding. I I, I will tell you if it's a stupid question. But yes, but don't be scared to ask questions. I'm a, I'm a really nice guy for real, for real. So thank you for watching and I wish you the best of luck for your coding endeavors.